Okay folks, just a little video here. Um, you know I love the Weber GA, Weber Go Anywhere. It's a great little unit. Just want to talk about one of the most awesome accessories that you can get for this, and that's a riser. So we're talking about this little stainless steel attachment that sits up on top and extends the uh, cooking area uh, and the height and the overall capacity and volume of the GA. Now, obvious benefit is uh, with this little attachment here and, uh, and a rotisserie setup, you can turn it into a very compact, fuel efficient rotisserie job. Or you can just use the, uh, the riser to elevate the cooking height. Now, this is a 200 millimeter riser uh, in this case. So we've elevated the cooking height by another 200 millimeters. I've got a really hot bit of coals in there. And I guess just to, to work out why you might want to do this in this case, We've got some really, really hot flaming coals here. Now if you have a look, I've got my temperature probes set up, one at the higher level, one at the cooking level, and then one down right near the coals. Now, if you have a look at the difference in the, in the actual uh, temperatures at those cooking areas, there's quite, quite a difference. So you've got 550 Fahrenheit right at the coals and about 350 at our cooking area, which is about where we want to be, about 350-400. Um, so we're not cooking, in this case, chicken thighs too quickly. The other thing is is uh, you can uh, cook above, directly above the coals. Uh, a lot of the fat and a lot of the rendering and the juices will splash down onto the coals, vaporize, add a lot of flavor to that meal. But there's a good amount of space between the coals and the food. Uh, so if you get a bit of a fat flare up or a bit of a fat fire, it's not going to immediately crisp that food that you're cooking above it. So, um, and finally, we've got a little chunk of um, of plum plum wood in there, plum smoke wood. Um, and the other thing is, I want to if I if I was cooking this directly on the grate, right down near the coals, I'd only have a very small amount of time that I'd be able to have the chicken exposed to that smoke wood. But what I'm going to hopefully get is a bit of a longer cook time here. Um, because it's a little bit of an elevated cooking area. So I've got my chicken thighs here. Um, we've uh, seasoned them up with a bit of uh, Lane's Konami and, uh, and a little bit of olive oil. So all we need to do now, chuck them straight on there. What I'll do is just um, shut the lid just for a little bit up front just to get a little bit of smoke on and then just finish them off in the in the open and uh, these are going to get cut up into strips and go into some awesome chicken tacos but yeah I, I'd seriously recommend getting one of these risers um, lots and lots of places will have them uh, commercially available uh, our friends at Rub and Grub um, also sell one online it's a great product uh, but yeah uh, you can get them in 200 millimeters, 100 millimeters, whatever sort of takes your fancy. But if you have a look there, you know we've got some nice flames, we've got some serious, uh, serious cooking action going on there, but nothing that's directly burning the meat or, or catching that meat on fire. So I'm going to uh, put the lid on. And I reckon I'm going to give that about a minute. Uh, then I'll uh, flip them, give it another minute, and then we'll take the uh, take the lid off and just finish them. Take them off when they're at uh, at that finished temp. But you can see we've got a nice bit of smoke going on there. But it's chicken. We don't want too much smoke. So I reckon just a couple of minutes with uh, with that lovely plumwood smoke, and uh, we'll be done. Okay, guys, we've been going for a couple of minutes either side now. Uh, just turned them. Lid's going to come off. We've got enough of that smoke flavour in there now. Let's have a little listen here to this sizzle. Juice is dropping down onto that charcoal. Still a bit of smoke wood coming through. Now the process from here, got my thermopen. Just gonna start checking each of these pieces. Oh, that guy looks pretty done. Aiming for 165 internal temp. That one's a little bit thicker. Might need a little bit of time. I'm just going to slowly start taking these off when they hit that 165 internal temp mark. Um, but yeah, uh, so that's our little cook with the GA riser. 
and uh, great bit of kit. If you've already got your GA, well worth investing in one. Cheers.